Hello all, uh, this video is going to be on installing Pulse Audio uh, on an Arch Linux installation with an XFCE4 desktop. Uh, this is the, a viewer request actually. Um, personally, if I don't have to use Pulse Audio, I won't use it because it's I find ALSA uh, to be adequate, especially with I'm, what I'm using, the onboard audio and the cheap microphone and so on. Uh, however, there are some applications that pretty much require it, uh, Skype for one, and maybe some other things. Uh, so, just open a terminal, and I'll go full screen, and usually you have also installed, so just also mixer, and you usually get this default screen, the playback, um, what devices or uh, channels are turned on, or turned off, or muted, or unmuted, and... Uh, you can toggle the F keys. It defaults to F3 playback, F4 for capture, F5 for all, and uh, F6 to select a sound card. Press escape on that. Uh, I'll go back to F3 and F2 uh, system information such as your cards. And it shows you what's uh, your cards are installed, hopefully. And press escape and escape to exit the also mixer. And usually what I have to do is uh, fix the, uh, uh, I have like a crackling microphone basically, and uh, I have to uh, edit a file um, in Mod Pro uh, directory, and um, it's called mod, modprobe.conf, and uh, so I'll take a look at that, and uh, I'll open that in a terminal with a leaf pad, the ampersand there, all right, and that's all you have to do. For example, but you have to find your sound card name, so mine is SND HDA Intel, and the model is from uh, Also Mixer. And actually, you can uh, open the Also Mixer again. You can actually right click on, um, double click on it, chip, and then uh, copy that and paste it into model equals. Okay, and I should mention all this is on the Arch Linux uh, page uh, documentation. So once you save that um, to whatever model you have, I have fixed position is three. It's the last one. It's there's no other uh, module loaded on uh, that position. Um, I think three is probably going to probably will work uh, in most cases. So whatever model you have, um, sound card you have, then the model name and then the position. And once you do that, you should uh, restart your system. Okay, so to install in Arch Linux, of course, it's Pac-Man, uh, sudo Pac-Man S, and then uh, if you're using a 64-bit, you might want to get the uh, multi-lib um, packages as well, but for basically it's Pulse Audio, Pulse Audio Dash, also Pulse Audio Volume Control, and there's a few others, and then your 32-bit uh, dependencies, and then... The wiki uh, the documentation in Arch uh, mentions to system control enable uh, pulse audio dot socket. Interestingly, interestingly enough, and that's not a sudo. That's in your actual uh, config directory in your home, so you don't have to be a super user to do that. Manually start pulse audio or kill it, and some tricks they show you for uh, setting um, if you have a multimedia keyboard for volume up, down, and mute. And Yao Art, the older Yao Art page or site, uh, still has uh, XFCE4 Volume D dash Pulse. Reboot after installing that, basically. And there's the fixed position for the microphone. And if you have like a a timing issue, or say if you open Audacity and uh, it doesn't play right, um, you search for load dash module module dash u dev dash detect and add this schedule to zero and it and reboot again it should um, work a little long-winded i know and uh you may not have to do all this it's just my particular sound setup and it's a little older so so uh i have to go through these steps i'm going to take a chance here and open uh, audacity <laughs> and try to take a look and it comes up really quick uh, if you just have also installed in my case and uh, you see here it's uh, the recording device is detected 
and you can see that it's pretty much reflecting what um, you have to probe for. However, it's it's already it's automatically switched to front mic, which I don't have because I am using uh, another module to uh, record with. But the default playback device is uh, hardware zero zero, and uh, the digit I mean the uh, analog uh, um, output sound card. Once I install Pulse Audio, um, these will change, and I have to set them back, or it won't. Uh, this will not work right at all. Another thing I want to mention is uh, Pulse Audio will add it, uh, itself to the XTG Auto Start, so when you restart your system, it uh, should automatically start. So you have two choices, restart, or just manually start, or stop uh, XD, the uh, Pulse Audio, sorry. If you want to take a look at that in XFCE, it usually goes into uh, Etsy, XDG, Auto Start. If you want to read up on XTG, it's kind of interesting. Uh, but you can see here I have some things auto starting. Uh, some of them may not always have to kick in, but I do have XFCE for Volume D from the Arch Linux user repository. And that will auto start when I restart the system or, or whenever. And then uh, what that what that does is it allows me to use the uh, volume keys. For example, as you can see the screen, the uh, volume indicator, um, and you can press uh, the mute button and so on. And another way to look at that is uh, session and startup, of course, and there it is there should hover over that uh, you can see the command is right there okay so that's what pulse audio will do as well add itself to the uh, startup um, directory so uh, next up is I'm just going to download these packages uh, you can you know one command and multiple packages all at once and hopefully <laughs> I can still keep recording um, while this is installing or downloading at least. So I'll paste that in and press enter and not very big. Okay, it's installed and I don't want to start Pulse Audio uh, just yet because I'm recording of course. So what I'm going to do is uh, just do these, uh, these steps I just mentioned and I'll be back and um, We'll just continue up, uh, finish up. It's not that there isn't much more to go through on this. Okay, so I've restarted the system and did everything I uh, mentioned in the uh, documentation uh, that I put together. And I'll, like I said, I'll upload that so you can copy and paste most of the stuff in. Hopefully, um, it'll work for you. But that's basically installing Pulse Audio inside um, Arch Linux or on Arch Linux and um, with the XFCE4 desktop. And quickly, we can uh, look at session and startup. And you see there's a couple of entries have changed or added. You see Pulse Audio, as I said, that started up from the uh, XTG auto start and the uh, XFCE uh, Volume D dash Pulse. So again, multimedia keyboard, uh, volume up, down, and volume up, and the mute control. And the mute control, sorry. So that should wrap it up. I hope that helps anyone out. Um, I know it's changed uh, with the latest uh, XFCE4 uh, version uh, 4.12. Um, volume D is no longer in the default repository. It's moved over to the Yowart, or that sorry, the Arch Linux user repository. Um, so Pulse Audio, and to get the function, you should you can download that um, if you wish. So that should do it for this one, and thank you so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.